hi friends my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to unzip multiple zip files in SSIS so this is my profile I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft technologies so the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to unzip multiple zip files in SSIS so recently I got a question from one of my subscriber Muhammad Zaman how can I make unzip dynamically from for each loop it will be very kind of you if you provided demo unzip file reading zip file one by one from for each loop so in this video we will be unzipping files using the 7-zip 7-zip is a open source software so that you can use in your production environment or your development environment and you don't need to purchase a license for the 7-zip because it's an open source so let's see how we can do that using SSIS so this is my visual studio 2019 that I will be using today to write the code for unzip the files so first of all let's download the exe file for the 7-zip that we will be using to unzip the files so you can just write download 7-zip you maybe you can write x64 so just click on the first option here 7zip.org and then here there is an option stand alone console version 7z dll so you just need to click on this link download so it will download a file for you so i have moved the file to here 7z1900 xtr.cp so let's extract this file to the same folder okay and now let me just delete this 7z file and if you open this one 7z1900 extra so there is a folder x64 and in x64 we have this file 7za.exe so we will be using these files to unzip the files okay let me first of all create an uh, variable here file path variable which will actually contain the current file path so i can call it like file path and data type can be a string and let me just open the file that we will be unzipping today so we have three files here addresses.zip emails.zip zip code dot zip so we have three files situated at d files location so we will be unzipping these three files today okay now let me just copy the name of the first file this is just for you know inserting into the default value it is not actually required if you don't want to do then that's fine so just save it now just drag and drop the for each loop container here because for each loop container will be used to loop through multiple files so just configure the for each loop container and in the collection uh, we need to select the for each file enumerator and now in the folder option you need to browse the location where the files are situated so my files are situated in the D files folder and in the files type maybe you can put star.zip so that it will loop through only zip files only and now in the variable mapping you can select the SSIS variable that I created file path so for each iteration of this loop the current file path will be assigned to this SSIS variable so just click ok so we have configured the for each loop container now to unzip the files we will be using the execute process task so there is an execute process task here so just drag and drop the execute process task into the for each loop container and now right click on the execute process task and configure it so in the process so there are three settings that we need to do we need to just put the path of the executable so executable in our case is the 7zip file that we need to give the path of this exe file so just copy this path from here and you can just paste it here now in the working directory we need to provide the path where we want to extract the file so suppose i want to extract the files at the same location so i can just select the same location d files location so we have set the two settings now the third setting is the most important that we need to set the arguments as well so because the arguments value will change for each file so that's why we need to use the expressions so just click on these three dots and in the properties there is an arguments here so just click on these three dots and put a double quote and now put e space double quote plus space plus double quote and the double quote as well now in between the two plus signs just drag and drop the file path SSIS variable and maybe you can click on evaluate expression this will be the final value of the arguments e and then the file path so e is for extraction and this is the file that we want to extract so maybe I can share this command in the description of this video and I will share all the zip files as well if you want to try then you can just download the files and you can try by yourself so just click ok 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 so 
your package is ready just click on the start button and then it will start unzipping the files for you okay so you saw that the process got completed and I think it ran three times and uh, if you go to the Z D files location so you will find that three files got unzipped so this is how we can unzip the files very easily using the 7 zip and which doesn't require any license and yeah that will work for you thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much